I get asked what the best computer is for someone to work with and learn on. Now, I personally develop in Linux. Ink as a Verb is my computer teaching curriculum project. I've got a bunch of different projects I'm always working on. Someone recently said, okay, I want my kid to learn how to use computers and do computer programming. So, should I get an Apple? I hear they're really good computers. And I was like, uh, no. No, 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 no. They're like, but aren't Apple's good computers? I'm like, yeah, they're excellent, wonderful computers. Well, then why wouldn't you use one? I'm like, if someone wants to learn to draw manga comic books, would you buy that person a manga comic book? Or would you buy that person a blank empty book called a sketchbook and include a bunch of markers and, and paint brushes and maybe some tutorials and classes on how to draw. You know, someone that wants to draw and create artwork isn't going to want a book already full of someone else's artwork. Someone that wants to create and understand creating things is going to want an, an, an art kit. Well, Linux for computers, Linux is the art kit. And it's not just about how easy it is to use. It's not about that. Linux is legally free. Like you can copy it, you can change it, and you don't go to jail. You know, Windows and Apple? Well, that's another story. Now, Windows is trying to get more open source and more free. That's good. But Linux really pioneered the idea with Richard Stallman and Linus Torvalds and, and Mark Shuttleworth and all those guys. But like... It, Apple computers, you know, why are they good if they're not the computer for engineers? Look, there are a lot of computer engineers who do their computer programming on an Apple. The, the problem is the software that I see created by people who are using an Apple computer to develop software for other things, sometimes their software has like some problems. It's like no brainers. It's like, why are you guys doing that? It's like, didn't you think of that? Like, and oh, oh, they're, they're using an Apple computer to do computer programming. I, it's, it's, it's been my experience. Okay, all right, okay. So, Linux is free and open. If you have a new light bulb, a new wonderful idea, you don't go to jail for it. With an Apple, you might because Apple doesn't want you messing with their software. You better not install that $30 operating system on another machine. That, that could unsettle entire Apple Inc. and make them go belly up. So, they'll prosecute you and chase you to prison if you do that. So, you know, I mean, really like, you know, Steve Jobs has said this, we've got 20 patents in this phone and we will defend them. Yeah, Steve Jobs was always angry about that ever since, well, ever since Microsoft kind of stole an idea and did it with Windows. See, Microsoft and Windows and Apple go way back to where computers weren't like this, to where computers looked like computers, where computers had computer code. Way, way back in the day, before Apples were Apples, if you wanted to start a computer program, you had to enter this complex, weird code that nobody understood. And it's like normal people that just wanted to do stuff couldn't, they couldn't use the computer to just do stuff without learning computers. Well, this copy machine company, Xerox, had this wonderful idea. Now, they work with paper all the time, interestingly enough. That's probably why they got the idea, my guess. But they thought your computer screen could look like a desk, like a desktop. And like you set one piece of paper on top of another, you could set one computer program on top of another to call it a window. You have this window on top of that window, like a piece of paper. And to move all this around, they invented this, this crazy thing called a mouse, probably because it looked like a mouse. And the directors at Xerox thought that this was so stupid. I mean, this ridiculous idea, making a computer look like a desk putting paper in the computer. We're Xerox. We copy stuff onto the paper and print stuff on paper. We don't put paper into the computer. What a stupid...
stupid idea. So they sold this stupid idiotic idea of Windows and a mouse to this little rinketing company who's probably going to fail called Apple. And so Apple bought this idea of Windows in the computer. They hired Microsoft to apply it not just to copy machine but to all computer stuff. And then, of course, Bill Gates ran off and stole the idea and started Microsoft Windows and Steve Jobs wasn't happy about that. So, Apple would attack anybody who ever used their precious little software. Meanwhile, over at MIT, Richard Stallman was going in the opposite direction. He said, we need free open source software, F-O-S-S, free open source software. If someone uses it, copies it, uh, that's fine. We're not going to throw them in jail. And... Uh, we're not talking free beer, we're talking free speech. And so Linux is, and Linus Torvalds came on and, well, that was the interesting thing. See, Linux is a lot like Apple. See, the, there is a computer working behind the Apple machine. And there is a computer code working underneath the hood in an Apple computer. And that computer code uses a computer like a, a way of talking to the computer, it's called language, that people actually kind of like. It's called Unix. And Linus Torvalds came along and he, he liked Richard Stallman's free open source software idea over at MIT. And so he made Richard Stallman's free computer system talk like Unix and Linus called it Linux. So Linux computers and Apple computers under the hood, they actually talk very much the same way. So, if you want to just work, you're an artist, you don't want to learn computers. You, you want a computer that you don't know is a computer. Get an Apple. Steve Jobs said long ago, we're not selling computers. We're selling apples. When he introduced the iPad, he said the best technology is the technology you don't know you're using. If you draw pictures and you don't want to learn computers or understand anything about them, get an Apple. It's not a computer. It's an Apple. It won't crash. It's it's strong. It's stable. Get, get the Apple. But if you want to know computers, if you want to understand how computers work, get Linux. Get, then you can you can tinker with it. You can change stuff. You can develop and create an awesome user experience for someone else. And you can you can work with it and understand it. So the, when it comes to computers, what are you doing? Are, are you using a computer that you don't want to know is a computer? Go, well, don't get a computer. Get an Apple. But if you want to understand computers, goodness, goodness, get Linux. Get Linux. And the languages are going to be very much the same. So you can develop for the Apple users. Well, uh, I I focus. Ink is a verb. That's my idea. It's 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 a verb. Get inking. Don't just read the ink, create the ink. My crazy little idea is that understanding the Linux Unix language of the Linux Apple computers, the, the core computer language, understanding that shouldn't be so hard. So for someone that just wants to be an artist, don't, don't buy a computer, buy an Apple. But if you want to understand computers and make a little less you know, difficult and mysterious, my goodness, let's, let's introduce all children to the basis of computers. And that's where my ink as a verb idea comes in because I want people to understand that computers don't have to be so scary. If you're interested, it, it, you know, give it a try. You know, as a kid, you, you should try stuff. Give it a try. Try to understand the computers. The language doesn't need to be so hard. And, and if you can go with it, keep going. But if not, if, if, if learning the easy computer language isn't for you, you want to be an artist, a musician, a businessman, and you don't want a computer, you just want to work, then don't buy a computer, buy an Apple.